Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do long division when you're dealing with decimals. So let's say we have the problem 3.7 divided by 54.76. So this is tricky because we have 3.7 which is a decimal. So what we actually want to do is we want to get rid of this decimal by shifting it to the right. And you're going to shift it all the way to the right until there is no more decimal. So in this case until it is just 37.0, so just 37. But what you do to this number, you also have to do to this one. So we'll shift it one to the right there as well. So that becomes 547.6. And now we don't have a decimal here, which is really good. That makes long division really easy and we just do it like normal. And we haven't changed anything. Basically we've just multiplied both of these numbers by 10. And since we did that to both of these numbers, the equation is still balanced and we can do this. So now we're just going to solve this like a normal long division problem. So if we look how many times 37 goes into 5, it's 0, but 37 goes into 54 once. So 37 times 1 is 37, and now we do 54 minus 37. So 4 minus 7 doesn't work, so if we make that 14 and take 1 from 5, we get 14 minus 7, which is 7 and 4 minus 3 which is 1. So now we have 17 and we have to bring down our next number which is 7. That makes our number down here 177. So how many times does 37 go into 177? Well just by looking at this let's guess 4 times. So if we test this we can quickly work out by hand what 37 times 4 is. So that will give us 28 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14, so 148. And 148 plus 37 will be larger than 177, meaning that 4 is the number we have to use. So we'll write 4 up here, and as we just worked out, 4 times 37 is 148. So now we have 177 minus 148. 7 can't be subtracted by 8 because it will be negative, so that becomes 17. And we take 1 from 7 to get 6, so 17 minus 8 is 9, and 6 minus 4 is 2. We bring down our next number, which is 6. Now, if you look here, our decimal point is here. And we have to keep that same decimal in our answer, so if we put that right above, we're going to get 14 and then our decimal point. So our answer will be 14 point something. Now let's continue. How many times does 37 go into 296? Well, if we guess, I'd say it's about 8. So let's work it out to see. So if we do that by hand, 37 times 8, well that gives us 56, and then 8 times 3, 24, plus 5 is 29, so 296. And that fits perfectly. So 37 times 8 is 296, and that gives us a remainder of 0 meaning our answer is 14.8. So 3.7 divided by 54.76, remember that's our original problem before we move the decimals, is equal to 14.8. So just to recap, you move the decimal over all the way to the end and you repeat that with your other number to keep it balanced and then you solve it normally making sure your decimal point lines up with the number right beneath it and that's your answer. Anyway, I hope you found this video on how to do long division with decimals helpful. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.